Isa na namang random post at ito ay post ni Ma'am Maggie Sanafe dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. 4 square root of 3, i-multiply natin sa 5 square root of 3. Is it letter A, 20 square root of 3, B, 27, C, 60, or D, 180? Unahin natin yung shortcut, pero i-rewrite muna natin. So, this is 5 square root of 3. 4 times 5 and that is 20 times 3 is equals to 60. So, yan na yung sagot. Now, para maintindihan yan, dun muna tayo sa example. Mag-example muna tayo para maintindihan yung shortcut natin. Later, ipapaliwanag din natin kung paano naging ganyan lang, ganyan lang pala kadali. At yung i-example natin ay of course yung mga madaling numbers lang. 2 square root of 16, tapos i-multiply natin sa 3 square root of 16. Diba, ito lang ginawa natin, 2 times 3 is equals to 6, tapos i-multiply natin sa parihong base which is yung 16. Tapos 6 times 16 and that is equals to 96. Diba, yan yung ginawa natin dito. Kung isa-isahin natin yan, isa-isahin natin. 16, square root of 16, and that is equals to 4. So, 4 times 2 is equals to 8. Next, square root of 16 is equals to 4. Tapos, i-multiply mo sa 3. 3 times 4 is equals to 12. Kung ito ang i-multiply mo, 8 times 12, 96 pa rin yung sagot. Isa pang example. 4 square root of 25, i-multiply natin sa 2 square root of 25. Shortcut, 4 times 2 is equals to 8. I-multiply lang sa 25 yung mga base dito and that is equals to 200. Kung isa-isahin mo, 4 square root of 25 is equals to 5. So, 4 times 5 is equals to 20. Now, ang next 2 times yung square root of 25 and that is equals to 5. So, 2 times 5 is equals to 10. 20 times 10 and that is equals to 200. Pariho lang sila. So, therefore, bakit, ka, bakit pa pahihirapan mo pa ang sarili na isa-isahin mo ito? Kung pwede naman, ito lang yung shortcut. 4 times 5, tapos i-multiply lang sa base na 3. So, 20 times 3 is equals to 60. Bakit ka mo? Kasi, kapag pariho, yung ganito ba, itong square root natin, square root of 3, tapos i-multiply mo sa same na square root of 3, or exponent of 2, pariho lang yan. This is the same as square root of 3. I-multiply mo yan siya. I-cancel mo yan, and that is equals to 3. Cancel mo lang yung radical sign. Dapat pariho yung base. Example, square root of 25 times square root of 25 and that is equals to 25 lang din. Kasi kung isa-isahin mo yan, square root of 25 and that is equals to 5 times yung square root of 25 and that is equals to 5. 5 times 5 is equals to 25. Pariho lang din siya. Kaya i-cancel yan. Isa pang rason kung bakit. Ang square root of 3 ay pariho lang yan sa 3 na may exponent na 1 half. Pariho lang yan siya. So, doon tayo sa exponent. Again, huwag kalimutan ang law of exponent. 3 na may exponent na 1 half. Kung i-multiply mo yan sa the same lang na 3 na may exponent na 1 half, kopyahin yung base na 3. Yung exponent mo sa law of exponents, I-add mo yan siya. Since fraction yan siya, kopyahin yung 2 na denominator. Tapos i-add mo yung numerators nila. 1 plus 1 and that is equals to 2. So yung 3 na may exponent na 2 over 2, ang 2 over 2 ay pariho lang na 1. So therefore, ang sagot lang naman ay 3 Sa exponent of 3 times exponent of 3, 3 lang. Cancel mo lang yan siya. 
Kaya ang ginawa natin ay 4 times 5 is equals to 20. Tapos, kinopya lang yung 3 dito. So, 20 times 3 is equals to 60. Thank you for watching and God bless.